to all my subs, to people who are hitting me up in my email. <laughs> I don't think y'all know how my channel works. I have no allegiance. I have no sides. I'm not LDBC. I am not UTC, I think is the other group. I'm not with anybody. I have my own opinions. My mind changes like every human being, given new circumstances, new evidence, and et cetera. My mind will forever shift and change as things change with it. To stay stagnant shows that you cannot grow and you never gain anything new. So with that being said, before this fight started, like I have stated, I wanted Tyson Fury to win. I like Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is a funny dude. I've liked him for a long time. However, <laughs> in this fight, Tyson Fury lost a lot of respect for me because of his dirty tactics. Not the fact that he just used dirty tactics, but he implemented them when they weren't even needed. He was already winning the fight. He was already dominating the fight. The fight was pretty much the beginning of the end happened in the third round whenever he hit Wilder in the back of the head, which I'm going to bring up later in this video. Now, what I'm about to do is I'm about to show evidence, Whew. evidence of how dirty Tyson Fury was, because it seems like I'm the only person who saw this. It seems like nobody else can call this out. People have so much hate for Deontay Wilder that they can't even call out when this man is cheated. Like, because he was legit cheated. I'm not saying Deontay Wilder can beat Tyson Fury because, like I said in my post-fight breakdown, if Fury was to fight smart, he would definitely outbox. It's very possible for him to knock him out. I said eighth round, he knocked him out towards the end. Well, he got a TKO corner stoppage towards the end of the seventh round. So my prediction was dead on. I wasn't expecting him to move forward like he did and win coming forward. But... Kudos to him for doing that. However, I counted eight different times that he was choking Wilder. Now, excuse some of these clips. I meant to show timestamp and round a couple of these messed up to where it didn't show it. But here we go. Let's get into it. Number one. <laughs> Number two. They're going to become blatantly obvious here pretty soon. Number three, number four, I time-stepped it so these wouldn't be super long. Number five, boo, choke them. Number six coming up right here. I believe this is the one where he spins them around to choke them. Spins them around, chokes them. Number seven, choke them, blatant. Camera right there looking. And number eight coming up. Watch this, y'all. Eight different times in seven rounds. Mm, mm, mm. Here goes two different angles of the knockdown punch. And I bring this up for a reason. Now, on this one, you can blatantly see that Fury targets the back of the head as he's staring dead at him. Now, the reason why I posted the knockdown wasn't because... I'm against the knockdown It's because all I heard about Deontay Wilder was rabbit punches, rabbit punches, rabbit punches, rabbit punches, rabbit punches from all the Deontay Wilder haters. So I want to hear that same energy, like y'all always say, that same energy when it comes to Tyson Fury landing a rabbit punch that busted his eardrum, that knocked him down. At the end of the day, Tyson Fury was winning the fight. At the end of the day, I believe Tyson Fury can beat Deontay Wilder. At the end of the day, Tyson Fury outboxed Deontay Wilder. I don't think there was too many questions about who the better boxer was. At the end of the day, Tyson Fury imposed his will on Deontay Wilder while he had Deontay Wilder backpedaling the whole time. I have no issues with Tyson Fury winning. I have issues with the way he won. And if I lose supporters because of it, then it is what it is. But <laughs> I don't show favoritism. I don't care who the fighter is. If they do something dirty, I don't agree with it. As I've said before, I'm all about somebody getting dirty back. I do not like the initial dirty person. There was no need for it in this fight. As I've said earlier in this video, the fight was already sealed once Wilder went down the first time. It was just a matter of time before he went away, unless he got lucky, which he did not. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what y'all think. I think 
I made it obvious to the people who were disagreeing with me with the evidence shown that it cannot be disputed that Tyson Fury wasn't purposely headlocking and choking Deontay Wilder throughout this fight, which is another reason why he could have been sapped of a lot of energy, not just his equilibrium bringing off, but being choked and constantly having that air taken away from his brain. Keep that in mind. I'm out.